Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is an open meeting of the Seward, Nebraska governing body. The city of Seward abides by the Nebraska Open Meetings Act in conducting business. A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is displayed on the north wall of this meeting room facility as required. Disclosure of meeting recording processes is posted in the meeting room. The participant sign-in sheet is available for use by any citizen addressing the council. Presenters shall approach the podium, state their name and address for the clerk's record, and are asked to limit remarks to five minutes. All remarks should be made shall be directed to the mayor, who shall determine by whom any appropriate response shall be made. The City of Sir reserves the right to adjust the order of items on this agenda if necessary, and may elect to, to take action on any of the items listed. Please call the roll. Welkin. Present. Back. Here. Hampton. Here. Fritz. Here. Miller. Here. Singleton. Schmidt. Here. Ham. Here. The first item this evening uh, is consideration of approval of draft minutes of March 21st, 2017. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Saying none, please register your votes. Please display the votes. What do you mean in favor? Welcome back, Captain Fritz, Miller, Schmidt, Hans, motion carried. Next item is the consent agenda. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Saying none, please register your votes. Please display the votes. What do you mean in favor? Welcome back, Captain Fritz, Miller, Schmidt, Hans, motion carried. Next item is a public hearing, consideration of a retail Class D liquor license. It's for Casey's um, Retail Company, doing business as Casey's General Store. This is number one. This is number 2730-2605, Progressive Road in Seward. Bonnie? Um, we have an application from Casey's uh, to update their liquor license from a Class D to a Class B. Um, B is beer off sale, and a D is alcoholic liquor off sale only. Then there's also a, a separate manager application to maintain a <coughs> manager. So there will be a resolution as well as for item A and then for item B up with the manager. So for the public hearing, does the, have any, any, does the council have any questions or comments? <coughs> I will go for the public. The public comment portion of the public hearing. Does anyone from the public wish to comment on this item? Seeing no one, I'll go ahead and close the public comment portion of the public hearing. Does the council have anything else they'd like to add to this item? Otherwise, I would ask for someone to introduce the resolution. I'll introduce the resolution. All right. For approval. The resolution has been introduced and is designated as resolution number 2017-07. We would like to move that this resolution be passed and adopted. So moved. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Please register your votes. Please display the votes. And that was item 5A. For item 5B, this is the consideration of recommending approval of Tina Krings as manager of the Class D uh, liquor license for Casey's Retail Company, doing business as Casey's General Store, number 2730. Any questions or comments from the council? Would anyone, uh, this would just be a motion. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, please register your votes. Please display the votes. Thank you. Item number six, this is administrative item, uh, consideration of sewer foundation application. This is the Connect Seward County for funds to purchase equipment, which consists of two servers. I believe Becky Baker is here to address the council. I currently serve as a treasurer of Connect Seward County. <coughs> Been on the board since its inception more than 20 years ago. Um, I can answer questions if you're not familiar with Connect Seward, <coughs> but about every seven to 10 years, we, since we don't charge any one, any fee, or any of the services we provide. Every seven to 10 years, we look for funding to help replace uh, equipment, mainly the two servers. <coughs> They're kept on Concordia's campus, and Concordia faculty maintains them, and updates them, and, and that's their volunteer uh, aspect. 
aspect that connects to the, the public libraries, the public face, dealing with people who don't understand email or uh, teach classes on building web pages and that kind of thing that are hosted on Connect Seward server. So, um, the Friends of the Seward Library have already committed $2,000 towards this project. I'll ask the Library Foundation later this month when they meet. Um, we're looking at uh, submitting a Seward County Visitors Committee grant as well. And we're asking the agencies whose web pages we host, which are many, and we received a list in with the grant application, uh, to consider uh, contributing as well. Questions? Any questions or comments from the council for Becky? Thanks need for what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, this item is just a motion to what advance this onto the Foundation. The Seward Foundation. I'll move to advance it to the Seward Foundation. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, can you rest your vote? Please display the vote. Item <coughs> six. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just leapfrog here and finish up the rest of the agenda and then come back to seven. Um, for item eight, we have the assistant administrator's report. Um, nothing spectacular, just uh, getting busy for summer. <coughs> Does the council have any questions or comments on the report? Yes. Dave. What's the status of um, Mr. Butcher? Well, at this point, we are discussing um, the terms of the contract to present the council, and then assuming we reach that, then we would bring it to the council for the consideration of the contract as well as the appointment. He did also mention, he's going to try to hear it, I believe he had a medical issue. For council members who weren't able to meet with him, if you do want to meet with him before, presumably the next meeting, let us know. We can try to arrange for him to come up to Seward and, and meet with any of you. Or the ones you've already met, we won't talk to him again. Okay? Doesn't matter. But just let us know. We can arrange for that. You, yeah, you bet. Anything else? We now need a motion to uh, accept the report. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please register your votes. Please display the votes. Are there any future requests for council agenda items or ministry of action? Seeing none, I do not have any announcements. Do you have any no announcements at this time. So now we'll jump back up to number seven. It's a strategy session with city attorney with respect to to sell the real estate, and Kelly, did you want to talk about this a little bit before? No, I'm just recommending the vote in closed session. Okay. Yes. Does someone, does, do any other council members have a sheet? They all have All right, does someone want to read it? <laughs> I move the city council go into closed session with the, with the mayor, Jonathan Jank, Tim Mittenbrink from the Lund Company, and Jake Vasa from Olson Associates, and the city attorney, for the protection of the public interest and to discuss the city of Seward real estate, real estate acquisition and to provide the city attorney with negotiating guidance for a period not to exceed 45 minutes. All right, we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. We rest your votes. Please display the votes. My name is Tyler. Welcome back. Councilor Chris Miller Schmidt. Okay, so um, I have to restate this, correct? Uh, so the, the motion is for the council. The city council is going to close session with the mayor, Jonathan Jank, Tim Mettenbrink from the Lund Company, and Jake Vasa from Olson Associates, and the city attorney for the protection of the public interest to discuss the city of uh, Seward Rail Site real estate acquisition and to provide the city attorney with negotiating guidance for a period not to exceed 45 minutes. And we're now going to close session. Thank you. Um, and for state, you know, to state for the record, there is no formal action taken in the closed session. Um, is there anything else you need to do, Kelly? On that? Okay. That's the last item we have for this evening. This time, we're making a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Motion and a second. We rest your vote. <coughs> Please display the vote. Thank you. <laughs>